Hey guys, it's David East, and in this tutorial, we're going to be stacking the Startup Framework's code blocks in order to make a web page. So right here is a copy of the Startup Framework on my desktop, so I'll open that up. I'll go into Developer, then Manual, then Read, and we'll open up the index. We'll click on the How to Install tab, and we'll scroll down to the Let's Start section. So in this code snippet below, these are all the assets that we need to get started on our page. In the last video, we went over these. We can see that we need Bootstrap, Flat UI, Icon Fonts, and an animation file as far as the CSS goes. And then below is an assortment of JavaScript libraries such as jQuery, Modernizer, and other jQuery plugins. And you can see for each one of the sources for these files, in parentheses, it says way to the startup folder. And what that means is, is that you need to know the path to where our assets are located. So when you include startup into your project, you need to know where it's located in order to get to that path. And to make it easy for this tutorial, we'll just make our web page at the root of the startup framework folder. So let's go into our folder. So at the root of our developer folder inside of the startup framework, we'll create an HTML page. So I'm going to open this in Sublime. And now here in Sublime, we have all of our folders that we need to get started. So I'll open up the UI kit and I'll first go to UI kit header. And here's the index page for the UI kit header. And to get started a bit quickly, I'm going to copy everything from head up to the top of the page. And now I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to set its syntax as HTML and I'll paste in this part and then set up the body tag and close out the HTML. Now, right now, if we were to pull this up in the browser, we wouldn't see anything because there's nothing in our body tag, but we would see a bunch of 404s for our assets. And that's because our folder structure is incorrect. So since our index.html page is at the root of the developer folder, we can get rid of most of these slashes. So I'm going to highlight all the double dot dot slashes and get rid of them. And then right here where we're going into the UI kit header folder, we can say UI kit slash UI kit header because we have access to the UI kit without you needing any slashes. And then that'll go into the UI kit header folder and then into the CSS folder where we'll then grab our UI kit styles. And the UI kit styles.css file is for all of the header UI kit styles. So now we have all of our CSS files taken care of. Let's focus on the JavaScript. So we'll go back into the index.html page for the UI kit header and let's scroll down to the bottom. And down here, we have some JavaScript files. So let's copy all of this, go back into our index.html, and let's place this right before the body tag closes out. And for those of you who don't know why we place the JavaScript files at the bottom of the page rather than inside the head tag, it's because of a perceived performance benefit. And the key word there is perceived. Because the pages don't actually load faster, they just appear to load faster because all of the styles in the markup load before the JavaScript files load. If you were to place the JavaScript files in the head, they have to load first, which then delays the markup in the styles from rendering first. So the user would see a blank screen longer if the files were placed in the header than they would if they were placed at the bottom of the page. So let's remove all these dot dot slashes because we're at the root. And now we have the basic JavaScript files that we need to get going. So let's open up the index.html page of UIKit header. And let's scroll down and you can see this comment right here for header one. So for every single separate UI block, you'll see this comment to show that. So the header I'm looking for is header nine. So let's keep scrolling down. And right here we have header nine. So I'm going to collapse this header and I'm going to collapse this section. And I'm going to copy this over to our index.html file. So right where this body is, we're going to paste that in. And now we have our header. So let's check how this looks in the browser. So we can see that we have our header as well as our animation. But there is one bit of an issue is that we have this white space right here. And this is usually reserved if you want to dock some type of nav bar. But right now we don't want to do that. So let's go back and get rid of it. So ideally we would want our own custom style sheet for any customizations you want to do. But since this is a tutorial, we'll just put this in a style tag at the bottom of our head tag. And what we'll do is we'll take body and we'll say the padding top is zero. 
So now you can see that we don't have that white space anymore. Now this is a pretty good looking header, but I don't want all these links spread out throughout the top. And I actually saw some navigation, a part of another header, that I liked a little bit more. And one of the great parts about the startup framework is that you can actually mix and match like blocks. So what that means is, is if I have one header that has a section I like, but I like the navigation part of that other header, I can switch those two blocks with each other. So let's go back to our project and do that. So back in the UI kit header index.html file, let's scroll up to the header two. So right here is header two, and I'm gonna collapse the header. And then I'm gonna copy that over and go back to our index.html file. I'm gonna collapse our header nine, and I'm going to paste the header two in. And one thing we'll have to change is our path for the image. And so we'll get rid of the dot dot slash so it goes back to the root and we'll now check it out in the browser. And you can see that now we have a different navigation, but we still have the same header we were using before. So we easily were mixed and matched our navigation with the sections of the header blocks. So now that we have our header down, let's go get some content. So let's go into the UI kit content folder and let's open up index.html. And before we actually add any markup from this file, we need to add the associated style sheet for these code blocks. And that's this CSS file right down here. So let's copy that. We'll go back to our page. And down here, we'll paste this in and we'll change the path. So now we're pointed to our UIKit content style sheet. And so back in the UIKit content index.html file, we'll pick out the content three code block. So here is content three, we'll collapse the code block, we'll copy it, we'll go back to our page, we'll collapse our code blocks just to make it a bit more readable, and below this section, we'll paste it in. So now we just need to find any images, and right here there's one, and we'll get rid of the double dot dot slash, and above we'll fix some of our formatting issues, and we need to fix this typo up here, and it's UI-kit, and now we'll check it out in the browser. So now we'll scroll down, and we can see that we have our content. So let's add another content section. So to add another content section, let's go to index2.html under UIKit content, and let's use content 23. So right here is content 23, and I'll collapse it, and we'll copy it, paste it into our document. And let's add one more content piece. So we'll go to the index.html under the UI kit content folder, and we'll look for content 12. We'll copy this right here, and we'll paste it in right below our content 23 section. And now let's check this out in the browser. And now if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see we have our new content right here where it says made in New York. And let's scroll below it, and we can see that we have this other section that says buy Gram app for $9. And if we hover over it, we get a nice little color change effect as well. So now on our page, we have a header, a couple content sections, but now we can close it out with a footer. So back in our project, we'll open up the UI kit footer folder, and we'll open up the index.html page. And just like we've done before, we'll take the associated style sheet, and we'll add that to our index.html page and we'll add the UI kit root folder rather than having the dot dot slash. So back in our UI kit footer page, let's use the first footer. So we'll collapse footer one, which doesn't collapse too well in Sublime, but that's okay. So we'll highlight the rest of the footer and we'll paste it down in the bottom of our index.html file. And at the top of the footer, we'll change our image path. And now we'll check it out in the browser and we'll scroll through our page and now we have our footer so as you can see it was really easy to create our page using the startup framework once we had our assets set up all we had to do is copy and paste code blocks in and we could easily mix and match these code blocks as well which will provide a ton of customization and another piece to be aware of is that this is completely responsive design so if we resize our window to make it smaller we can see as we size it smaller the page adjusts. And we can scroll up and see the rest of the page also adjusts as well. And we get this navigation right here 
And if we click on it, it's a slide out menu with what our navigation used to be on the top. So Startup Framework comes with a ton of features built in that take a while for you to build out yourself. And one of the issues you're probably thinking of right now is, is this looks great, but I want to make it look like my own. I want a different color scheme. I want my own images. And I might even want to change the way that this page is laid out in some of the sections. And all that is very easy. And it's especially easy if you're using the less version of the startup framework. And we'll be covering that in the next video. I'm David East. And just like always, if you have a question or want something explained in more detail, you can leave me a comment or you can even send me a tweet.